peace, this your host, Sila Shalom, and this is a Cosmon Teachings in the words of Jehovah and his angel ambassadors. And this series is called The Appointed Times of Jehovah. And the topic of discussion today is called Understanding the Moon Cycles. And in this documentary, I'm going to be showing you how to follow the moon cycle so you can understand the appointed times of Jehovah. The first thing to understand is the period of light and darkness, or night and day. There are 24 hours in one day, and one day is divided into two halves. The first half, which is night, is a period of 12 hours, and the second half, which is day, is a period of 12 hours. And these hours change according to the seasons. So at the peak of summer, it'll be 14 hours a day, 10 hours a night. And at the peak of winter, it'll be 14 hours of night, 10 hours of day. So now we're going to talk about the evening. And what does the term evening mean? The evening is a short period of time that begins when direct visual sight of the sun goes below the earth and ends when it gets dark. The evening is the period of time when the light and darkness are even, balanced out in the sky. It is when it gets dark that the next 24 hours begin. So the evening is when dark and light, or night and day, are even, meaning half night and half day in the sky, and such is the term evening. Now I'm going to show you how to follow the nights and days according to Jehovah's appointed times, and I'm going to show you how the nights and days are counted using the moon and sun. The evening is the time period that separates night from day, being that night is the first half of 24 hours, the moon is the timekeeper on how to keep track of counting the nights and days. So now we're going to start with the first seven nights and days of a moon cycle. And to really understand the moon cycle, you would have to observe the moon nightly to get an understanding of how the moon cycles run. So the first night of a new month is proven by observing the going down of the sun at the evening. And when the sun, is, and when the sun goes below the horizon, or the earth, the crescent moon will be seen in the western sky where the sun is setting. And this crescent moon signifies the first night of the moon, or month. And the night foretells the day, so the date would be read as the first night and day. And if you observe it the next night, the light will increase on the moon. And this will be called the second night of the moon. And being that the night foretells the day, the date would be read as the second night and day. Then the next night, the moonlight will increase some more, and this will be called the third night of the moon, and so on until we get to the seventh night of the moon, when it is half dark and half light. And on this night, the seventh night of the moon is when the Sabbath is observed. So here is the true way of following the Sabbath based off the appointed times of Jehovah using the moon. So the Sabbath is divided into two halves, the Sabbath night and the Sabbath day. And I have a documentary called Following the Sabbath in Truth where I explain the Sabbath and how it is observed, so stay tuned for that. So now in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, it states, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, seasons, days, and years. So the moon cycle was given to humans to know the days, months, seasons, and years. So here it states that the Creator gave us the moon cycles to follow the nights and days. So if you are not observing the moon cycles and understanding how the nights and days are counted based off the moon cycles, you cannot be following the Sabbath in truth or the appointed times of Jehovah. But in, but in this documentary, I'm going to show you and put it all together and bring it to reality so you can understand the appointed times of Jehovah. Because I've seen a lot of um, series on, a, uh, on a YouTube with the Hebrew Israelites, Muslims, Christians, Jews, all the religions. And now one of them understand the moon cycles. They quote the verse about the sun, moon, and stars in Genesis chapter 1, 14, but they, they, but they do not put it in a reality to bring it down so you can understand but in this series, I'm going to bring it to a reality so you can understand nightly and daily 
how the moon cycle is ran. So now I'm going to explain the moon cycle or one month and show you how Jehovah's appointed times are observed. Now, there are 28 nights and days that the moon gives its light. In two days, it is in total darkness called the new moon, giving us a total of 30 nights and days. And it is after the new moon that a new month or new moon cycle begins at the viewing of the crescent moon. And in some moon cycles, there are 29 or 28 day cycles with one new moon or no new moon at all. So it is at the ending of a moon cycle that you must pay close attention to in order to know if this is a 29 or 30 day moon cycle. Because if you put 30 days ahead of time, and at the end of the month, it turns out to be a 29-day moon cycle. You got to recalculate your whole calendar again. So you can't even go past a moon cycle when you're dealing with the appointed times of Jehovah. Because you got to see what he's going to determine the month will be. Either a 29-day moon cycle or a 28-day moon cycle or a 30-day moon cycle. And the only way to know that is by observing his hand. Because he's the one that's doing this. Not man. So now... There are four weeks in one moon cycle. Seven nights of the moon make one week. So you have the first through the seventh night of the moon, which is the first week. Then you have the eighth through the fourteenth night of the moon, which is the second week. Then you have the fifteenth through the twenty-first night of the moon, which is the third week. And it is within this week that it is a full moon. And it remains a full moon for four nights. And this varies according to the seasons as well. So you may find at the peak of winter, the full moon will occur at the 11th night of the moon and stay full for four nights. The moon will always go through a four-night period where it's a full moon. Now, then you have the 22nd through the 28th night of the moon, which is the fourth week. And then you have the new moons, when the moon is in total darkness. And it is after the 28th, that you have to observe the sky at the going down of the sun to know if it is a 29 or 30 day moon cycle because the crescent will be seen at the evening of every new moon cycle or new month. And once you begin to observe the moon, you will be able to know what night it is based off the light and darkness on the moon and the positioning of the moon in the pyramid. Now I'm going to explain the four seasons or four arc cycles in the 12 moon cycles or 12 months. There are three months or moon cycles for one season. So for the season of spring, you have three moon cycles, which are the first, second, and third moon cycles. And for the season of summer, you have three moon cycles, which are the fourth, fifth, and sixth moon cycles. And for the season of fall, you have three moon cycles, which are the 7th, 8th, ninth moon cycles. And for the season of winter, you have three moon cycles, which are the 10th, 11th, and 12th moon cycles. And these are the moon cycles along with the seasons that make one year. So this is the true way of observing Jehovah's appointed time based off the moon cycles. And this is the true calendar given to humans by the Creator to know His will. And with that, I'd like to say peace and blessings and catch you on the next documentary call following the Sabbath in truth. Peace.